Hi friends, hello the world. Welcome to this episode of Tools for Transitioning Humanitarians. So here is another tool for you that is going to be a short one, but very powerful one because I'll be talking to you about your inner power or wisdom or however you call it, your inner trust. Basically the, the most powerful version that is within you. And how can you cultivate this more? How can you bring this more to, to light? And how can you always act from it rather than from a disempowered place or rather than from a place of, oh, I don't know, or um, let's see, or I'll just go along or uh, rather from this adjusted or adapted um, version of you, right? So... My goal is to help you transition from that adapted or modified somehow version to the very powerful version that you have. Now, I thought how I can really show you and demonstrate in the way that you can recognize it and then you can actually start doing it because everyone's way of feeling that inner power might be very different. So the way that I will describe is from my own experience, and then I will hope that you can also find your own inner power within that will always hold you, that will always carry you, that will always help you make a decision or act or behave in the way in the world, in the way that serves you, in the way that gets you to where you want to or how you want to live your life. So the way that inner power feels within me is it feels a deep trust and it feels a very free me, right? So I think if I were to like describe in terms of feelings, this is how it would feel. It would feel very trusting and very uh, freeing. And that also gives me then this sense of very powerfulness, sense of like, this is how I'm going to do, or sense of certainty. It gives me a sense of trusting no matter what I'm doing. So that's why this is in terms of feeling, in terms of the thoughts or beliefs that carry that or that create that uh, powerfulness within me, I would say is that I get to be me all the time. In the good ones, and the bad ones, whatever way, I get to be me all the time, no matter what. Another one is I um, can do whatever I want in life, not in the arrogant way, of course, but in the way that is very freeing to me. So you need to check with yourself how you um, can do that or how or what thoughts and what feelings really help you recognize that inner power that you have. Now, I also want you to think about how do you know when you are acting from that powerful place mm -hmm. and how do you know when you are not acting from that powerful place, right? Because behaviors are often a very good indicators of how we are um, actually, whether we are really believing and trusting that inner power or not. So one of the ways that I see that uh, we might not be acting from that inner power is when we are so much in indecision. When we're so much in, let's see what happens or in dilemmas or in um, vacillating back and forth and waffling and all of these things, we're not recognizing our inner power. And the reason why we're not recognizing is because we're not trusting ourselves that we can make things work no matter what we decide. Right, So if we decided and things didn't go the way we thought it would go, we would decide next one and keep going and trying and getting to what we want to without really sitting around and thinking like, oh, sh uh, shall I do this? Shall I do that? Um, is this good for me? Is it not good for me? Um, uh, is this Will this work? Will this not work? And all of this stuff. Uh, in other words, how much we continue entertaining fear, continue entertaining our resistance, continue entertaining how things may not work rather than trusting that this is the decision we're making because 
this is um, how I think is right or how I think is good for me. And whatever happens, I will make it work as well. And then continue going and working on it, trusting to you, trusting that your inner power, inner wisdom will lead you the way anyway. Right. So that's like one of the big ways you can see if you are being in indecision, that means you're not recognizing your inner power, inner trust. And when you are deciding and saying, this is what we're doing and this is how we're doing it. Yes, there are risks and here are the risks that I am conscious about. So it's not like a reckless thing, but we're deciding anyway uh, in the way that is um, we believe that will get to the result we want and therefore this is how we're going and then if things don't work the way that we thought it would which may oftentimes happen and then we will do something else and then we trust that we will find the solution then. right so that's like the big big one another one that behavior that um, i see when we're not really um, trusting ourselves and our inner power and how powerful we are and how um, how much of the resources that we'll have the another way that we're not trusting it is going all in and i think this is a very similar to the previous one, but I really wanted to highlight it on its own terms, because even if we decided, then oftentimes we may have the situations of like, yeah, is this really the one? I don't think it is, or maybe it's not. And all of this, like, again, going and vacillating and keep starting the indecision cycle again, instead of going all in on our decision and keep making it work in the way that creates the results that we want, right? So that's why when you are not going all in on whatever you decided, that's actually also, again, not trusting your power, your wisdom, your trust within to be able to create the results you want to, right? So that's why you can watch out for that um, as well. And the third one that is big, but still I feel like that's like one of the biggest element that we can really see how we are actually the one who is in charge of creating whatever the results we want to and believing that on its own is not like an easy journey but I felt like I had gone through that a lot and and that all comes down to you really trusting that powerfulness within you to say that you have everything you want to create that result. And it doesn't mean that you don't ask for help. It doesn't mean that you don't um, uh, work with other people to get to what you want to, but you will not abdicate the responsibility to others saying that, well, I didn't get this result because of the other person, but rather know how, where I didn't take that responsibility, where I didn't really trust my powerfulness within to actually create the results I want to and then the more I get good at understanding myself and my power within the better I get in creating the results I want to right so that's why when I like when I create the results that I want to I'm so amazed how powerful we are in doing it, how powerful I am in creating the results I want to. And the more I recognize it, the more I realize it, the more I feel like I can create any results I want to in life, right? So it's like, it gives me even so much more freedom and it gives me more ways to keep working on how to feel that powerfulness within rather than how to entertain fear all of the time. Now, it doesn't mean that fear will be all gone and I will be fearless and I will just like, okay, I can just, um, I don't know, um, fly the plane now or whatever, right? So it's nothing reckless. It's not going to be like that because fear always has a function to play. And, and not only fear, there are other emotions like uh, shame, like guilt, like um, disappointment, they will, or like fear of failure, right? All of those emotions will always be there and I will keep experiencing them, but I will always experience them from the place of, I can handle them, 
not from the place of oh my god this has happened what do i do how can i do it and then go into this very um like uh rushed and hustly way of trying to solve for it so that i feel good again or so that oh everything is fine now right so there is no such thing instead like yeah it feels shitty it's not good it doesn't feel good in my body but i process i handle and i allow them to be felt in my body and then afterwards i will just learn what i needed to learn and then keep moving on right so the third one is when we are so good at creating the results that we want to and then we're just like so amazed how we can do that and while experiencing all of these emotions that we don't want to but we still have the trust that we can experience them and we can go through them and the fourth one just I want you to highlight it and I think you already gathered from what I was saying that it's part of it but I really want to highlight it anyway and that one is stop proving to yourself or to others in other words stop being in competition and even if you notice yourself being in that competition you can always bring it back to no 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 that means i'm not really trusting that inner power and therefore i'm engaging in this uh proving myself how great i am and how this i am and how that i am and you don't do that anymore and and the reason why you don't do it is if you really believed yourself so much of how powerful and how amazing and how unique and the wisdom that you have, then you have nothing to prove, right? And the same goes with um, uh, competition, right? The competition, maybe we go on like for fun or for, um, I don't know, excitement or creating certain emotions maybe but even then I would be asking myself do I really do that because of that or am I sneakily somewhere believing or not believing in myself and not believing in my powerfulness so much that I'm now seeing them as competitors and I need to be in competition with them right so that's why whenever we are really truly recognizing our powerfulness i see that we don't even engage or entertain being in competition with others because we're like it's impossible to compare so therefore i just continue going on my road and doing my things right so i really wanted to bring to your attention so that you can also catch and and see yourself now I have given you four ways you can catch yourself where that's um uh where where you might be um like catching and where you might be doing it and how you can go back to recognizing how powerful you are and of course the fifth one could be being in the victim mindset but I think many of us have been recognizing that we don't really want to be in the victim mindset no matter what so that's why that's another mindset or another way that you can catch yourself if you are in the mindset of blaming others blaming yourself or being in this mindset of others should have done this should have done that and they didn't and right all of this um in the resistance and that is when we're not recognizing uh our powerfulness of what we can do and how we can change things and instead so fixated on the external world. So now having said this, um, the best or the easiest way that you can always catch yourself and bring it back. So for instance, let's say that you are making a decision or you are behaving in a particular way that you are a bit like, oh, maybe this is when I'm not recognizing my power within. You can always ask yourself, if I really believed myself and my powerfulness within, would I really be engaging in this thought process or in this, um, what if this, what if that, da, 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 but rather make a decision, right? Rather make a decision or rather like, this is not me. This is not what I want to be doing. And therefore I go back to doing what is really true to my powerful being that is me and really showing up as me right and another way that I always ask myself as well is um, am I really showing up as me or am I trying to adjust in the situation 
to be liked or to be something by others, right? So that could be another way that I recognize how I'm not really recognizing my powerfulness or my, I'm not really believing in myself so much so that I'm looking for ways to adjust to someone else's rules or someone else's likings or approval or whatever it is, right? So these are the two ways that you can always recognize it. And the other thing that I really want you to um, think about and install um, habits for yourself if you're not there yet is you can always think of yourself like if I really, really believed in my powerfulness within, what would I think about myself? How would I feel about myself for most part? Um, how would I view myself? How would I spend my time? How would I transition to the place or to the life that I want? And what would be the process of that transitioning and what would be the result of that transition, right? If I really, really trusted my powerfulness within that I have everything needed to live the life that I want to, then how would I really make that happen? How would I be in charge of my results, right? In other words, how would I create what I really want to without uh, looking at let's see or I don't know or um, uh, uh, I can't really make a decision or I need to gather so much information or all of these things. If I didn't entertain the, um, the, the fear, then how would I really go through this process and get to the results? Right, so you can always ask these type of questions so that you can bring yourself back to feeling that power within, the wisdom within, feeling that powerfulness that, I don't know, at least I feel so often in my body and then saying, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm doing it. Yes, there may be lots of problems, but I also know how to solve those problems in case they come up and here are the ways they may come up and here are the ways I will solve them. Yes, there will be shame. This is how I will um, solve the shame if or when it happens or there will be failure, or when there will be hate failure, here are the ways I will handle, right? So you can see that how we will always go back to reinforcing our powerfulness within and exploring that within rather than keep entertaining the fierce games and then uh, keeping in resistance, keeping in indecision and not really living the life that we want. So my dears, if you're interested in being and recognizing that powerfulness within, the wisdom within, and start acting from that place all of the time to go to what you, the life you want to create, then absolutely, you need to come work with me, and I want to help you get there. So have an amazing weekend, and I will speak to you next week. Bye.